this summer, I went through a phase of like, who am I? Um, and it was an ugly truth for me to realize that the things that once worked for me, mm-hmm. and the people who once were with me mm-hmm. can no longer come because they're not thinking. And it's, it's a like mindset. You know, we don't have to think the exact same, but we have to be at least somewhat in the same book. Yes. We don't have to be on the same page, but we got to be in the same book. And if yes. we're not in the same book, we were not equally yoked in any way. And so when I hear equally yoked, most times when like in a spiritual context, you think of like romantic relationships, but that is so true in business relationships oh and friendships gosh. and people in your family. Not everyone is meant to come with you everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this summer, God, like you said, people just dropping like flies. And I'm like, dang, like, is anybody else gonna go? Like anybody else that... <laughs> I need to be aware of, like, just let me know now. Um, And that was a time where it was like, it was just really hard for me to digest that I was somehow self-sabotaging because I would be with people, I would do things, I would go places that I knew were not, were no longer in my purpose or in my calling. And so it's like, I'm purposely going to this place because I want to have fun and I'm tired of being by myself. I'm tired of being in the house and I want to, just be out and, and have a good time. But your fun comes at a cost when it's not aligned with what mm. God says. He was on here and, speaking to yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with a cost, you know? It's everything, it comes with a cost. And so obedience is better than sacrifice. And there were a couple of times in the summer where I was not obedient mm-hmm. and I had to sacrifice time and emotions and I had to sacrifice so much just yeah. to like get back to the place where I started before yeah. this summer.